officials believe that at least two billion dollars, two billion dollars in damage caused by this tornado, but that does not even calculate the emotional cost, particularly on children at one elementary school. Here's seven-year-old Isabel Rojas describing what it was like when she rode out the tornado that hit her school. The tornado went in and I was so afraid that um, I was hanging on to one of the desks and then um, I fell back and then um, all the dirt started getting in my eyes and all my clothes. And she was one of the lucky ones, uh, at least uh, nine children, nine children killed among the 20-some who were killed by the storm. A number of uh, people who drove to the area uh, to try to help start cleaning out the debris, looking for folks. Here's a man who described a driving into more and, and just pulling up to a 7-Eleven that had been flattened and, and what he saw and what he did to try to help out. Parked my truck here at the 7-Eleven parking lot. Just started heading in. We were pulling house, uh, walls off of people. Uh, there were people crawling out from everywhere and anywhere. It's basically just a war zone. Uh, there were a couple individuals with lacerations and contusions on their back and their head. We had an individual with a spinal injury. Um, as far as I have concerned, it was, uh, it was just a, a crazy scene. People described it as a war zone. President Obama spoke the very next day, tried to soothe the nation and remind the citizens of more that, uh, that they are not alone, that the entire country is right there with them. Here's the president. The people of Moore should know that their country will remain uh, on the ground, there for them, uh, beside them, uh, as long as it takes. One of the first issues that the uh, president was able to do, of course, was declare a disaster area that would expedite uh, distribution of funds and resources through the Federal Emergency Management Agency.